Hello and welcome to this Business Solutions Podcast. I'm Jim Roddy, the president of Jameson Publishing and Business Solutions Magazine. Thanks for joining us. As always, we're here to provide actionable information on how VARs can sell more products, penetrate thriving vertical markets, and improve their business operations. Our discussion topic today is security's role in the total solution. And our guest today to help give us an inside perspective is Dave McClary. He's a senior business development manager for the physical security division at Ingram Micro. Dave, thanks for your time today. Good to be here. Thank you. Uh, we're conducting this podcast at Ingram's Solution Summit just outside uh, New York City, uh, and much of the focus has been on resellers adding adjacent technologies, really taking the step to become a total solution provider. And so, Dave, you're focused on physical security. I wanted to get your perspective. What's your take on where physical security fits in as all these technologies converge? I, I think that uh, physical security has... Uh, is relevant really to all the vertical markets uh, that are touched by the network. I think uh, uh, the migration of technology to IPs creating a common denominator that uh, opens up a lot of opportunities for companies with networking experience so they can leverage that experience to get involved in uh, you know, various facets of physical security. A lot of, a lot of what we describe as a physical security uh, uh, solution it may not, in fact, have much to do with physical security, but they're more about systems that uh, that gather uh, information and uh, and provide control for end users, uh, and that's really where the return on investment is. So, you know, companies that are not traditional security integrators are finding that they uh, that they have some real opportunities based on their ability to handle uh, moving all of this information across a network. Got it. And so it's basically the common denominator is a network. And so if you've got an end user who's got this network and they have this need, you can add physical security to it. Right. The, the IT VARs are, are now part of the discussion, whether they choose to be involved in the actual installation of surveillance equipment or security equipment. Um, that information has to traverse the network. So their expertise uh, in moving and managing and storing that information has, has made them part of the discussion and, and um, certainly given them opportunities to uh, to get involved in new technologies. And you said just at the outset this cuts across all verticals, but what verticals do you think have the, the biggest potential right now for uh, VARs who want to offer total solutions that include physical security? Well, certainly healthcare and education are probably about two of the hottest uh, vertical markets for, for physical security. They're being driven, of course, by current events. Uh, you know, we see on the news every day uh, incidents that are taking place in, in, in those kinds of establishments. And, uh, you know, those are big drivers as well as uh, regulatory compliance. There, there are regulations that, uh, that are requiring implementation of, uh, of measures to protect personnel, assets, and uh, and especially information. Got it. And how about retail? Uh, is that another vertical that maybe isn't as quite as hot as healthcare and education, but you know, folks who are selling into the retail space, uh, that there's some need for that as well? I think you could argue that retail, uh, the retail industry has probably been the, the, the father of the commercial video surveillance industry. Uh, that's kind of where it all started. Uh, security value to a retailer is on return on investment in reducing uh, uh, shrinkage lost due to shoplifting or internal theft. Uh, and certainly we have increasing threats from uh, uh, flash mobs, multi-offender crimes, and, and even retail organized crime. So those the problems that are confronting retailers are are the same as uh, as they always have been they're in some cases worse and there's there's a return on investment available for retailers if they can reduce their losses and and technology is is really the most effective way uh, at at deterring that kind of activity okay and so we're talking about the different vertical markets uh, and can you talk about the vars who are best equipped to add physical security to their line cards is it those networking folks is it POS folks, is it VoIP folks? Who, who of that group do you think is is the best uh, kind of folks who can add this? I, I would say all of the above. Uh, the the networking resellers, the networking VARs have been uh, well represented amongst uh, the companies who who successfully migrated into uh, into physical security solutions. 
Uh, I'd say we're still dealing with a small minority of the networking VARs who have, who have chosen to make that move, but uh, some of the most successful companies right now in the physical security business are, are in fact companies with networking backgrounds. Uh, companies who, who have experience in voice over IP are, are very natural uh, companies to, uh, to make such a move. They've, they're experienced. Uh, the model is not that different. Uh, certainly from a communications and technology standpoint, the differences are actually uh, uh, learning how to apply that technology to provide a solution that returns an investment for an end user. So uh, the mindset of learning about the physical security customer uh, and how, say, a camera can actually solve a problem or provide useful information uh, rather than just considering the camera to be a node on the network. Those, those are the jumps that have to be made. They're more in mindset than technology. But, uh, yeah, I'd say all, all VARs who are, who are touching network business are, are going to have the opportunity to be involved in the discussion now. And I guess a good thing from the reseller, and it also ties in good for the end user, is the reseller doesn't have to abandon what they're currently doing. You're talking about this is going to expand their business, expand their reach of the current customer. They don't have to choose, geez, I have to switch from VoIP to this. It's something that they can add on. Absolutely. I, I totally agree, and, and it's another uh, another advantage that the uh, the IT VAR has uh, the uh, their migration or move into the physical security space is a battle that's that's not being fought on their turf. Uh, the traditional security integrators, I mean, convergence works both ways. We work with traditional security resellers who are coming to us for help because they they need IT expertise. Uh, their challenge is that they need to make the migration to IP in order to remain viable for their existing customer base. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the networking VARs have the opportunity to leverage an, an existing relationship and existing uh, uh, technological uh, prowess to, to actually move into new opportunities and, and expand their business. Got it. Dave, last couple questions for you. Um, if somebody's listening to this, they're not in physical security, but they want to advance into it, are there internal resources that they're going to need to add, or is it simply lean on their vendors a little more, lean on their distributors a little bit more to get physical security expertise into their business? Um, the answer is yes to both. Uh, there, there, a lot of assistance is available uh, for these resellers to work with their leverage their uh, vendor strengths. Uh, Ingram Micro uh, has a dedicated security division. We have internal resources for pre-sales tech support. Uh, we have uh, business development resources to assist in, uh, in even going on uh, calls or discussing projects about specific uh, end users. Uh, we have, uh, you know, dedicated marketing groups. So there, there are resources available uh, from Ingram. Certainly, uh, the manufacturers of the products that we're uh, that we're working with have a lot of resources as well. They have, uh, they have field. Uh, they have people in the street, field representation who can assist with product demonstrations and localized training. They certainly have certification training and their own tech support. If there's one thing that uh, I think the average reseller may need to consider investing in, it, it might be some experience with uh, uh, on the installation side. Uh, they may need some expertise and best practices for installation of, of security equipment to avoid getting into uh, warranty issues due to improper uh, installation. You know, project management expertise and project estimation expertise, uh, they can probably find in, in uh, either through partnerships with, with other resellers or, uh, or maybe investing in somebody who has that background. That'll help them to become uh, initially more competitive and more profitable as they become increasingly experienced in physical security. Got it. That's great information, but unfortunately that's all the time that we have for today. Uh, hopefully our discussion has given you some insight into this continuing momentum of uh, integrators adding physical security to their line card and helping their end users out in that area of the business as well. Uh, before we go, we want to say thanks again to Dave McClary for joining us. Dave, thank you very much. That's good info. Thanks. I enjoyed the discussion. And thanks to you so much for listening. Our goal at Business Solutions is to provide growth strategies for the IT channel. For more information, please visit our website at www.bsminfo.com. Thanks again for listening, everybody. 